met Dave, Dom and Alex the Pointer from Pack Leader Dog Adventures. So Dave, how would we start off teaching a dog a new exercise? Well, obviously there's lots of different ways and there's, every person out there training a dog will have their own take on this. But I like to use a combination of guided learning and luring. Guided learning, just to explain what that is, is basically putting a dog onto a lead um, and showing it physically what you want it to do and through repetition it, it'll eventually learn. Luring is generally using a piece of food or a toy but it, it can be anything and any way you want to uh, fade that out quite quickly but uh, holding that in your hand and getting the dog to target onto that item whilst you lure it around and using the combination of, of the lure plus the lead to control the behaviour through guided learning means you're minimising the dog making mistakes. Um, I know there's different trains of thought on this, but this is the way I tend to work with a dog. I find it the quickest way, I find it the fairest way to the dog, and it's the least frustrating way to the owner or the trainer, which I suppose means it's, it's less frustrating to the dog as well, because it's getting it right. It's therefore getting rewarded more, and if it's getting rewarded more, it's got to learn quicker in my book. And that's what we want, quicker learning. Exactly. So here we have an example Alex. of Alex. <laughs> Dom working with Alex um, using guided learning. So he's using the leash to get the dog to follow him around. Um, you could call it compulsion if you like, but compulsion usually conjures up a, a picture of something a bit more punitive. This is literally is just guiding. Um, there's, there's, it, it's, it's very closely linked in with luring because obviously Dom is luring the dog with himself. He's talking to the dog. Communication is, in, is hugely important. You've got to get the dog wanting to be with you. You've got to get the dog focusing and looking at you paying attention to you. If it isn't looking at you, it's probably not thinking about you. If it's not thinking about you, it's not going to do what you tell it to do. So we've got Dom here using uh, guided learning, getting the dog to follow him around. It's got no option because it's on a lead, so it can't make mistakes. He's going to switch in a minute to luring, using um, some sort of uh, reward or um, resource that the dog sees as valuable. He's still going to have the dog on leash, but the emphasis now is not on the lead controlling the dog, but the presence of this resource. And what Dom will do randomly throughout the pattern that he's uh, performing with the dog, which is a little dance routine really, isn't it? Um, it'll reward the dog, interacting with it. This is the thing, it isn't the toy rewarding the dog, it's the handler, the human being. Um, interacting with the dog using that resource. That's really nice, Tom. Good boy. Good boy.